Giant clams, the titans of the bivalve world, are often mistakenly believed to produce pearls. But this is actually a common misconception that needs clarification. Unlike pearl oysters, giant clams don't produce pearls at all. They're specialized filter feeders that form symbiotic relationships with algae in their tissues. The confusion likely stems from the name and massive size, with some giant clams reaching over 400 pounds and 4 feet in length, making people imagine they could produce proportionally enormous pearls. Throughout history, this misunderstanding has led to disappointing expeditions and false tales of massive pearls supposedly found inside these gentle giants. True pearls are primarily created by pearl oysters when an irritant, like a grain of sand, becomes trapped inside their shell, causing the oyster to secrete layers of nacre around it. Commercial pearls today come mainly from carefully cultivated pearl oysters, particularly the South Sea Pearl Oyster, which produces some of the largest natural pearls in the world. The confusion may also stem from non-pearl formations like the Pearl of Lao Tzu a 14-pound calcareous concretion formed inside a giant clam, which despite its name, isn't a true pearl, but rather a calcium carbonate formation. Giant clams are actually remarkable for entirely different reasons. They host symbiotic algae in their tissues that convert sunlight to energy, making them one of the few animals capable of photosynthesis-like nutrition. Rather than hunting these magnificent creatures for non-existent pearls, conservation efforts now focus on protecting giant clams, which face threats from habitat destruction, climate change, and historical overharvesting. These remarkable mollusks deserve appreciation for what they truly are. Ancient, colorful filter feeders that can live over 100 years and play crucial roles in reef ecosystems rather than mythical pearl producers.